rationalizing a denominator. We're asked to rationalize the denominator and then simplify our fraction here. And when we say rationalize the denominator, it means that we don't want any radicals in the bottom of our fraction. So to get rid of the radical, that's going to be our process. So for this one, we have the square root of 3 over the square root of 5. The square root of 3 is not a problem because it's in the top, but the square root of 5, that is a problem because we're not supposed to have radicals in the denominator. So to get rid of this square root of 5, the method that we can use is we can always multiply a fraction by 1 and nothing changes. So what I would like to do is get rid of the square root of 5, so I want to multiply the bottom of this fraction by the square root of 5. And that will become obvious in just a moment. Uh, but whenever I multiply the bottom by the square root of 5, I have to also multiply the top by the square root of 5. These have to be the same thing. So you notice this denominator is the same as this denominator, which is the same as the numerator on the top of this new fraction that I've put in here. And the square root of 5 divided by the square root of 5 is just 1 whenever the numerators and denominators are the same. So I'm really just multiplying by 1, which isn't going to change our fraction. It's just going to change the way that it looks. So since these are fractions, I can multiply the top, square root of 3 times the square root of 5. The square root stays there. 3 times 5 is 15. But the reason that I chose the square root of 5 is for what's going to happen in the bottom. When I multiply these, square root of 5 and square root of 5, I get the square root of 5 times 5, which is 25. Now, since I chose the 5 and the 5, I got the 25, but we can simplify the square root of 25. 25 is a perfect square. We can actually drop the radical because we know the square root of 25 is just 5. Now, in the top, I would try to simplify if I could, but the square root of 15 isn't a radical that can simplify. So I'm going to leave it, square root of 15, and go ahead and circle that as our answer because we have fixed the problem that we had. Rationalizing the denominator means getting rid of the radical, and in our new fraction, there is no radical in the denominator. And our tip is to always multiply by the same denominator as the one that we started with, and we'll be able to drop it because we'll end up with a perfect square that we can then remove the radical from.